Maureen Bunyan, and I'm always on your side. As a black journalist, I don't think you'll find a single person in this industry who has not been influenced or who has not benefited from the experience and the legacy of Maureen Bunyan. There's a certain intangible quality to uh, her inner strength and goodness that comes across on the screen. People get it right away. She's got this thing where she just sits down and it could be all kinds of hell breaking loose. And she's got a, a calmness about her. When Maureen first came into the business, there weren't that many women working in television news, let alone uh, African-American women. I mean, she was so she really was a pioneer. The management, which is management's prerogative, decided to want to make some changes, and they made Maureen an offer which she decided she could refuse. And so she said, thank you. She walked away. People stomp on their grandmothers to get jobs like those. And she not only walked away from that job, she walked away from television for a while and did very well, functioned very successfully. For years and years, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating, uh, on a weekly, sometimes on a daily basis, people would stop me on the street and say, I really miss seeing you and Maureen Bunyan together. An old married couple getting together after a long separation without the fights, you know? You, you get together for a half hour, five nights a week, have a great time and go home. It's a terrific marriage. It doesn't cost you a nickel. In fact, they pay you to do it. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to places, man. And, and look, I'm mad enough to admit it. I, I go to places in this town and I get yelled at and, and, and people yell at me, hey, how's Maureen? They don't say, hey, Leah, what's up? I, Maureen, I love you. Congratulations. It's well-deserved. I know you turned it down for years. It's about time you said yes. <laughs>